Okay, so I just wrapped up my 14 day Missouri hunt. And during this hunt, I exclusively used these climbers. Uh, I did a review kind of of these, kind of how I set them up last year. I'll link to that up here. But I used these exclusively during my 14 day hunt because I wanted to give them a fair shake and kind of see what it was like doing different weather conditions and going up and down in the dark with these on inverting trees, just kind of where I wanted to hunt. So one of the first questions I had was, how are these gonna be carried in and out of the field? And what I ended up doing was just using the bungee cord that I used to attach the climbers to my saddle with. I use this as my method of carry. So typically what I would do is I would just sling this over my shoulder and I would allow the teeth to basically ride on top of my collarbone, have them set under here. I could control them if I went under something or something like that. If I didn't want that, I could rotate them and use the actual shock cord to ride on there. So as I move, they kind of gave with me. Um, I just felt they bounced a little too much for that. And that's why most of the time I would just rotate up like this. So most of the noise that I had actually came from the buckles that I have on my foot system, how my foot locks in here, they would actually bump into this. And that's what causes a lot of the noise. How I prevented these from causing a lot of noise is there is some stealth strips on them, but I also would use that shock cord to kind of pull them together and kind of lock them in place. And that's how I would typically carry them in. Overall, they're pretty good. I didn't have any major issues with them. Like I said, I used them for 14 days and I didn't have to switch back to any other climbing method. I used these entire 14 days, uh, but there are some pluses and minuses to them. Uh, one of the big things obviously is my, the system I have to put my foot in here and get my foot down tight. It's two, it's basically one piece of, of webbing and you put your foot in there and then you cinch it down tight. If you don't get your foot exactly right or if you don't have a heel that would catch on the lip of the step, then your foot would kind of slide in and out and you may have to readjust it a time or two. And then this really posed a problem was the transition from the climbers to my platform. Sometimes I would leave the climbers underneath of my platform and step up onto it or other times I would climb above my platform and then just hang these on the tree limb next to me. And so the issue came like coming down at dark would be trying to get my foot back down on the platform and then get this up and over and strap tight. It needs to have some type of rigid point. So either a rigid like heel bar to where your foot would get in and get pulled back into that bar or a rigid toe box where you just put your toe in and then it sucked your foot into that rigid toe box. But because both of my straps are kind of fluid and they move, as you use these, it would kind of loosen up if it wasn't in the exact right spot. But once you got it to that exact spot and got it cinched down tight, there was no problems climbing with these. That's probably one of the things I like about them is I really like climbing up or down with them. It's pretty easy to do. Um, minor annoyance is if you had to make an adjustment as you went up or down, which most times you did, um, they could be a little difficult to get to depending on what part of the tree you were on or if there's a tree limb, something like that. One thing to know is that as you go up the tree, you will want the tree diameter set pretty much exact, but as you come down the tree, you'll want these to be pretty open. It's just a lot quicker to come down the tree. Um, so as you go up, you want it to be pretty much exactly what the tree is. As you come down, you can have them a lot more open. These are used out to about 15 inch diameter trees. Um, I did use one tree this week that was pushing the potential of these. So, you know, if that's an issue for you guys, keep that in mind. I typically don't hunt trees anywhere near this big. Um, you know, the biggest tree I hunted was 21 feet up. It was like 11 inches in diameter. So at the base, it was pretty much maxed out this 15 inch diameter. For the most part, wasn't a big deal for me. One thing I did notice though, um, once I got done hunting after the week is on this climber, this is the one that was on my left foot. This lower cleat down here is actually bent. It's in a U shape almost. And after looking at it a little bit, I figured out why that is. Um, on this climber, the same U is perfectly straight. And the difference is it actually pivots freely. Whereas the one on the bent climber didn't pivot as freely. It's a little too tight on here. So what was happening is as I was climbing up, the tree obviously would touch the back of this and this would pivot for the tree diameter. Whereas this one that is bent would not pivot. So what would happen is I would be climbing a tree, might have all the pressure on here, but then on the front edge of this, so then it's bending it up. And so it has an upward bend to it. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that on that camera, but it's got a pretty good bend to it. So that tells me that these need to be loose so that that can pivot freely. Overall, they're not bad. 
Um, they're not going to replace my muddy sticks in any way. I've been using muddy sticks for 10 years and I've never had any problems with them. I just kind of wanted to give these a fair shake and use them in real world, world conditions. I know I did a review of them, but I wanted to use them with muck boots. I wanted to use them with tennis shoes. I wanted to use them in rain, snow, uh, big trees, small trees, just in a true hunting situation. So that's what I did with them this week. So they're not going to replace my, my muddies, but they do have a good place in my arsenal for them, especially if you're going to be pre-setting trees. I think they have really good potential for that because you can go a lot slower. Uh, you're, it's a lot more comfortable to stand on long term, say if you're cutting shooting lanes or something like that. They have a really good place for that. They're seven pounds for the pair of them, so they're a little heavy. But if you factor in you know, how high you can get with just seven pounds, they're really not that bad. Overall, pretty decent but they're not my go-to option, but they are a good backup option for me. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit like, subscribe. Thanks.